Oh, this is exactly the company I was talking about to the girl at Fujitsu. She was here, not once. We were here many, many times from Poland. This is in Ostrava. No. Um, what you see here, it's closed. That thing on the top. Actually, I remember this thing was ventilators, all kinds of stuff that you could actually see it. No. So this is what this is. This is some kind of IT company, Pietro as a name in Australia, actually. Very similar, looks very similar to Fujitsu. That is in Czech Republic. This audio recording is related to Fujitsu. Out of 100% claims I have made, there's about 2 terabytes of data I have. Um, I have made about maybe 5% that I would made a mistake. Uh, I made some, I confused certain situations uh, and confusing the certain people, certain situations I would give, even if those situations exist just with other people, but with so many people involved in this stuff, of course you will make mistakes. There is no doubt about it. You will make mistakes no matter what. The problem, the biggest problem of them all were multiple scenarios for the certain situations because the political atmosphere changed ongoingly. And so when, whenever these politicians would become unhappy or maybe even people alone with me, they would start to interject uh, totally bogus scenarios Sometimes they would introduce me into scenarios that they would follow up later on uh, with real scenarios. So whether that's all too late. And under MK Ultra, when you make the uh, the main thing is the initial scenario. That's the scenario a person always will remember, most likely, unless you do really some deep stuff on one. Um, use side scenarios like you know logical explanations for the lies that you're going to create so the individual then would go and would i'm going to say take as credible the scenario to which is more tangible something because this is what you're looking for uh, to grab on to hold on imagine you have a million things about mk ultra in your head being drugged up and presented to so many issues um, this is a lot a lot of issues a lot of choices to choose from you know you really have to be genuine you have to be really really you have to know from the memory that you extract uh, oftentimes to hold hold yourself into the most credible scenarios even even this out of 100 percent there would be 5% of confusion that I would somehow not see straight to the, uh, to the core, to the point. 95% of my claims, however, were 100% to the point. Now, if they did introduce some uh, ghost workers inside, this is not my fault. Uh, every ghost worker that I have recognized that goes to the 95% or business or whatever they set up over there so that when you would show up that you would ask questions and stuff like this this adds up to 95% correctness I did not make I'm telling you 5% 5% of questions that I gave to the people out of Hundred, I did not make five percent. Not even five percent. I have made a confusion. What you're about to see is exactly Fujitsu. People were asked about uh, specifically one worker which left to Britain. IT worker lead left to Britain, and it's exactly what I was asking her. I was asking her about exactly exactly this company. It's an IT company in Ostrava, where I would come with the Fujitsu employees. Polish Fujitsu employees were in Slovenia. They were in the city of Nova Mesta. They were in Ljubljana. They were in Brezica. 
They were in south of Poland and in the Czech Republic and the first trip the one of the IT leads that would take was actually to Paris. This was in first trip in his life. Uh, the Fujitsu, there's a lot of audios still that were not released about whom I have recognized everybody in Fujitsu I have recognized. And all these audios are still waiting to be released. Okay, so this was one of the scenarios that the, but if they, if they could give you a doubt when I was asking her questions, they would give you the hell out of doubt. They would try to, like, uh, oh, no, not me, how, I don't know, oh, I, uh, who, uh, how, uh, where, uh, oh, uh, oh, no, no. Not even 5% I would make confusion about people. The girl, I have described her place the interior, a new building, everything. It's, a, it's, it's an audio, still I have to put online, but this, with this girl, with this very girl, this is exactly where I was with the entire Fujitsu, she was part of the Fujitsu team uh, in Ostrava location, right? So this is exactly where we would come, this is exactly the location where we would come in Ostrava, so I'd not make no mistake about it. No, zero mistake. This place that you're about to see, I saw this place uh, during the construction when they remodeled the building, everything from the beginning, from the scratch. I told you, I know entire Ostrava. I could go to the Ostrava. I did not ask you if you're from Ostrava. I've seen people, I've met people, and I was all too busy doing other stuff because I counter on staying in Australia. I believe I'm going to stay there, get a job, stay there for some time, meet people, um, interact with the people, and then, you know, so, uh, you know, get myself together, life somewhat together, then ask questions. You can't go run after the job and um, commute, I don't know, four hours in one direction and, and be paying for the bus and leaving in the car. You can't be doing this kind of stuff. It doesn't work like this. You can't. You got to put at least some, some way, somehow, this portion of your life together so you can go on from somewhere. You can't be unemployed and do the stuff like this. Search for the job and ask questions about MK Ultra and stuff like this. I did. I did. I did. It's extraordinary what I did what I accomplished, but the thing about it is that still tremendously a lot is not being done because of this kind of issues, because they, 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 I, I wasted time on a job search. Okay, during the job search, it was helpful because I, I identified people and businesses, but you know, other than that, I don't know. I don't know how they imagine this stuff. This is, what they did is I don't I don't I don't actually even find the explanation for that stuff. You know, when they told me this stuff that this is the way it's gonna be during MK Ultra, well the only thing I did was I laughed at them pretty much. I laughed my way through. I didn't believe that that eventually they're gonna get me into this, that eventually something like this is gonna happen. I believed in the police, I believed the police existed, I believed that the United Nations existed, I believed the European Union Court for Human Rights existed, I believed in this institutions, organizations. I had no idea, I was actually, no, I'm not gonna say sidelined, but yeah, sidelined completely as a human being, as a human being completely sidelined, out of the laws, out of everything. Basically, completely, I'm not going to say forgotten, but sidelined, pushed away, like totally isolated from laws, from, from anything that civilization, humanity apparently stands for. I had no idea it's going to come to this. And I had no idea that it's possible, that something like this is possible. So, well, this is exactly the company I was talking about. To the girl at Fujitsu. She was here 
not once. We were here many, many times from Poland. This is in Ostrava. No. Um, what you see here, it's closed. That thing on the top. Actually, I remember this thing was ventilators, all kinds of stuff that you could actually see it. No. So this is what this is. This is some kind of IT company. Kieto has a name in Ostrava, actually. Very similar, looks very similar to Fujitsu. That is in Czech Republic.